So, state your name, please. Uh, my name is Eli. Eli? Awesome. And you live in this here van. I sure do. Yep. This is Dubert. That's his name? Yep. How long have you been in Dubert? I've been in Dubert for about six months now, but I've had yeah. it for about two years. And so, Eli, you've been in this van for how long again? Uh, I've been in this van for about six months, living full time, and then I've had it for about two years. Nice. Where are you from? Idaho. Idaho? Cool. In Coeur d'Alene, yeah. Did you paint this on here? Actually, all my friends painted it. Yeah? I, I got some of my so artist rad. friends to each take a side. Yeah? And they all put their signatures on the back with their butt prints and hand prints. Nice. <laughs> you yeah. got good friends, dude. Yeah. Um, so you live in this full time. Like, what do you do to uh, make money on the road? Um, I usually just pick up odd jobs, like, around Bend here. I've been doing uh, framing or construction, and now I'm working on a farm with a buddy. Nice. But, um... It's really whatever I can get my hands on. It's nothing particular. Yeah. <laughs> now that's dope. A lot of people do like kind of like digital stuff or they work remotely with like a company and stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's cool to hear like other styles of work like seasonal jobs and yeah, uh, jobs sure. here and there. Um, why did you want to live in the van? <sighs> Man. I basically moved into the van on a whim. Yeah. <laughs> like uh, took my first road trip in high school when I was 17 when I first bought it with my best bud. Yeah all the way down the coast and it was just the best road trip I've ever taken. It's amazing. Uh, just had a big board across yeah. from the back seat to the front and it was a tin top back then and we had no idea what we were doing. <laughs> <laughs> just like a laundry basket full of top ramen and cup of noodles. So. Yeah. How, how, how's your like diet on the road? Uh, actually pretty good. It's getting better. Yeah. I'm trying to cook more. I'm out of a cooler too. I don't have a fridge. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's kind of a, it's kind of rough stocking ice all the time but yeah, I end up doing quesadillas a lot. Quesadillas, grilled cheese, quesadillas. eggs, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, like, van life, if you didn't have this van, would you live in an apartment? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'd find another way. <laughs> no way, dude. Yeah. I just, I can't, I can't justify paying that much or yeah. paying rent for it. Oh, when so it could crazy. go towards something else, you know. Yeah, like cool stuff for your van. Like a surfboard or something. Like, what do you do for fun? Um, I love surfing. Nice. Uh, I'm not on the coast over in Bend. So, yeah. Um, the river wave's all right, but You're I not love... taking that thing out there. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. That's a death trap. But, yeah. Uh, man, I love hanging with people, camping with friends. Like, uh, a couple of these vans down the street been camping with. Oh, yeah. Um, the Van Kooks. The Van. And Vanning Ain't No Joke. Yeah. And just various little banners that, like, come in and go. That's right. And go. Yeah. Just do group meals and slack lines and, I don't know, we go cliff jumping when it's warm enough, swimming and fishing quite a bit. Yeah, I need to get a fishing pole myself. Um, do you have any advice for other people thinking about doing van life or, like, first that question? Yeah, do you have any advice? Um... Yeah, I'd say my advice for for someone wanting to get into a van and get into the van life is don't get too caught up on your image of it, but rather do it for your own reasons, not for what you see on Instagram or the glamour shots of it. Because not all of it's glamour. Sometimes you're stuck in a Walmart parking lot with some pooping homeless in a bucket. <laughs> knocking on your window. Yeah, <laughs> pooping in a bucket. <laughs> and yeah. uh, I don't know, just remember, I'm sure you've heard that before, but... Make sure you're doing it for the right reasons. Yeah. yeah. And if you had to do anything differently, if you could start van life over with what you know now, what would it be? <laughs> no, dude. Oh, man. I wouldn't. I wouldn't change a thing because <laughs> I definitely some crap has happened and uh, things go wrong, but that's how I learned. So I feel like that's the best way to learn instead of going back and trying to fix it. It's, uh, yeah. Learning from your mistakes and <laughs> No totally. Do yeah. you feel do you feel like van life has made it more accessible? Uh, to interact with people in like a larger range or how has it changed the way that you interact with people? Oh my gosh, absolutely you meet tons of people. Uh, coming onto the road, like living into the van, I was actually kinda afraid of being lonely and like not not meeting people or you know, I'm driving by myself and yeah. uh, it's actually I have to fight for alone time pretty pretty crazy how much you interact with people and yeah. it's literally every single day it's almost like having roommates but, <laughs> but you could drive away yeah but you can drive away um so another question would be 
Um, what kind of improvements are you going to make on this thing going forward? Like, what's like your next project? The next thing is the motor. The motor? Yeah, so pretty much everything in here has been done. Like, it, it was a tin top transporter with the two benches, and now it's, it's just really slow because I have a ton of weight in it in the stock motor, so. Yeah. Next thing I'm saving up for is a bigger motor. Okay, cool. Yeah. And, and aside from just working odd jobs and stuff, is there anything that you're working towards um, that the van like helps you with? Mm, still trying to figure it out. Still trying to figure still trying it out? trying to figure out, but uh, definitely getting a lot further in the van than when I was at home. I yeah. felt like I was just kind of trapped at home, and here I'm meeting people, and doors are being opened, and I'm trying new things, trying new jobs, and uh, always saying yes to these opportunities, and uh, I feel like that's... Someday I'm going to find my niche, but yeah. I haven't found it yet. <laughs> For sure. Do you have, like, any kind of, like, things that you like? Like, uh, any goals, like, right now? Like, what, what do you have on your plate right now? Right, so, um, we're going on this trip to Colorado. Snowboarding trip with four of us in there in vans. And, um, uh, I'm really into, f uh, film. Film photography, so. Totally. Um, I'm going to try to document the whole thing on 8mm film with an old 8mm camera, so. Oh, that's a, that's a perfect transition. What's your Instagram? My Instagram? Yeah, it's uh, Eli Putrin. So, E-L-I-P-U-T-R-E-N. I... Yeah, dude. At this guy. Um, Lee, Lee just got here. Have Lee. you asked about vancidents? Have you had any vancidents? Vancidents? Like... Accidents that happen in a van? Oh, my God. <laughs> I have vancidents all the time. Like... Uh, I spilled my oatmeal this morning all over the carpet. <laughs> oh, man. No, but you mean like uh, things going wrong pretty bad? Like, uh, past three days, uh, I've had to have buddies push start me because my battery's going dead and mm. I think my alternator's going on. So. Yeah. So it's pretty funny. Like, the Jehovah Witnesses guys had to push me the other <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're here to help, right? It was awesome, yeah. I guess you have a start this morning. Yeah. Um, well, well, yeah, I don't have any more questions, um, but like, Thank you so much for uh, answering this and giving yeah. us your time today, dude. And uh, yeah. wish you the best. And where are you going? Awesome. Colorado? Colorado's Colorado next. Colorado so. snowboarding. Yes, sir. I'll see you there. Yeah. <laughs> I was just going to wind down the interview by giving you the opportunity to make any shout outs you want. Um, say hello to your friends, your family, your mom, most of I just want to shout out to my mom. Yeah. Love you, mom, <laughs> if you ever see this. <laughs> <laughs> or, dude, thank you so much for your time.